Hello, my Catholic friends. If you believe that your church is the one true church, the church of history, the church started by Christ and founded upon Peter, of course, and has not changed and is infallible and is eternal and world without end, if you believe that, I want you to watch something here. Um, I was watching the TV Mass last Sunday, and yes, I know, I know, I, I'm a wild one. I know it doesn't show, but that's what I do for fun. I was watching the TV Mass, and uh, I want to show you a clip. Watch this jaw-dropping video clip. All of you for joining us here for the celebration of the Sunday Mass. In a special way, the auxiliary here at the Passionist Spiritual Center. Thank you for being our congregation today. I want to especially remember our Muslim brothers and sisters. You know, yesterday, August 22nd, began the month-long Ramadan, which is akin to our Lent. So we join in prayer with our Muslim brothers and sisters who are celebrating this month of fasting. We'll see you here next week at the Sunday Mass. Have a good week, everybody. Okay, now, um, what might you have thought about that? Well, you might have said to yourself, okay, this is some rogue elephant priest out there operating in some forgotten outpost like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now or something. Uh, no, actually, what he's saying is perfectly in keeping with what the Vatican has been teaching for some time now. Ever since the Second Vatican Council, they've been calling, if not brothers, they've been saying that uh, Muslims worship the one true God, who will the same God that we worship, who will judge the living and the dead. And uh, but you should know some things that the Quran, the Islamic scriptures, say about this God who will judge the living and the dead. The Bible clearly tells us that Jesus Christ will judge the living and the dead. All judgment has been committed unto him. The Quran makes the following statements. The Quran says that God certainly has no son. It is a monstrous lie to say God has a son. And uh, that's the pretty much the principal tenet of the Christian faith is that Jesus Christ is the unique, the one and only begotten Son of God. Um, they also say that, very explicitly, that Jesus, the Son of Mary, is no more than a prophet, or a messenger, or an apostle. That's all, no more. Well, the Bible says that he has a name above every name, that he's King of Kings, Lord of Lords, every knee will bow. In fact, the Bible clearly identifies him as the creator of all things. Hardly lines up. And uh, the Quran goes on to say that he most certainly was not crucified. He did not die on the cross. Well, if you don't believe that God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross and furthermore rose from the dead, you are not a Christian. You are not, in fact, the very thing that Jesus said, if you do not believe that I am he, who I say, you will die in your sins. If you say, that's Jesus talking. So in the Bible, you have to believe that Jesus is he, the Almighty, came to die for our sins and rose from the dead. You have to believe those things. In Islam, if you affirm those things, that's the unpardonable sin. That's the one thing that will send you to hell in Islam. So obviously, uh, Muslims are not brothers. Now, we, we love them and respect them as people, and we minister to them in love and everything, but they most certainly are not our brothers. Uh, so this, what this priest was saying, which is much too much in line, read the Vatican II, uh, some of the Vatican II documents like Lumen Gentium and some other things that say uh, these all these touchy-feely things about uh, Islam and you will find that for one thing the church has just completely changed its mind about everything it used to be even people who believed that Jesus was the Son of God and rose from the dead died for our sins and all that were outside of the church and they wouldn't be saved even people like me like quote Protestants because they were not in the bosom of the Catholic Church submitted to the Roman Pontiff and all that. That's history. That's the Catholic Church of history. This new Catholic Church says, no, everybody's fine. All religions are great. Come on in. It's just a big party. Okay, they say that you don't have the, the truth in its fullness, but you're okay anyway. We're all one anyway. We all worship God together. It's universalism. Suddenly, it's just, just universalism is what they're teaching now. And uh, that's not the Catholic Church, folks. It has changed its mind about things, and an infallible church can't do that. Your church is false. I'm sorry. However, this priest did say one thing at the end that I thought was pretty, uh, pretty accurate. He compared Ramadan to Lent, and I have to agree. There's quite a bit of similarity between Ramadan and Lent, and that is that neither one of them are taught in the Bible. 
the Catholic Church as it is now is a complete departure from what it, what it was of old because it's not infallible and it never was. The Bible is the eternal word of God, and that's what we have to stake our lives on, not men. Thank you.